Hey guys, uh, doing a video on a strop that I wanted to make, the strop bat. It's a four-sided strop bat that I made. Uh, I probably have, I'd, I'd estimate around $10 in this thing. So uh, there isn't really much in it other than the tools to actually make it. Uh, you don't have to use the tools that I did. Some of you won't have table saws and things like that, but you really don't have to have them. You can use uh, hand tools and things like that to do what I did. I just had it a little bit easier. Uh, it's really simple to do, nothing to it. I have made one of these in the past and absolutely loved it. So this time, I spent a little more time making a really nice rubberized handle. Uh, I put buffalo leather on there. I believe this is uh, 12 ounce, and uh, it's it. I'm really proud of this one. I think I'm gonna really like it a lot. Anyway, if you want to know how to make it or how I made it anyway, uh, check it out. Be right back. Okay guys, so the first thing I thought these would do great. Uh, these, this is basically a spindle that I got from Lowe's. It's already, I didn't have to do anything. This is exactly how it comes. So uh, basically, I'm, I'm thinking this will make a great handle. And then this will be, so basically I can get two out of them. This will be where the strop is, and these will be my handles. Now to get this round and have it look as nice as I can, let me get over here where you can see. Um, I'm going to focus in. <laughs> it's not focusing, but there it is. Okay, so I want to cut a little bit more out so that I can complete the round, if that makes sense. So I want to leave a little bit of the material. So I'm going to use my sled to figure out I'm going to cut way more off the first pad run. And that noise that cheers my air conditioner, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, here we go. Okay, so you see I left uh, way more than I needed. Let me get it out here where the focus for this lens. So I'm gonna nibble it a little bit more, but I basically wanna make sure I can complete the round. and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now, basically I just wanna, th these ends are kinda rough, so I just wanna make that very smooth, and so that's the next step. I'm basically gonna use my sled again. I use it a lot, I really like my sled. I'm just gonna nibble a very fine edge Okay, um, I had to turn it over because my blade wouldn't come up quite all the way. I had a little bit of tear out there, but not enough to matter. I'm gonna sand that down and get the edges smooth. So now, this, I'm gonna just use, uh, here, I'll show you what. 
I've done this in the past for things, so basically, let me get out here where you can see. Um, I just stick it in here, put a little pressure, and it doesn't take long. I'll probably cut a little bit of that off with a knife or something to help me get started, but it'll round that out and make it very smooth, very quick. Um, anyway, I'll do that when I get back inside. But one of the things you do, do not have to do, you, you can stop here, but I do want to sand it and make it a little bit smoother and cleaner. I also want to see if I can true up these edges a little bit. I'll see if that's necessary. Okay, I'm doing, I did two of them because I want to try this out. I want to try and make this as level and square as I can. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work and whether or not I'm going to mess up my handle by screwing up. I only bought one spindle, so if I screw up, I have another one and I won't do this. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to try and true this up uh, and see how I do. So this is, like I said, not necessary just for me to make it look a little bit better. Okay, now so basically I have, you know, sharp, crisp edges all the way around. So that should do pretty well. I did have a couple where it nicked the handle, but because of what I'm going to be doing in a little bit, that's not going to matter. So I'll move on. Okay, so if you're not going to be doing a coat like I'm going to, basically what you'll want to do is just sand this down with whatever I'm using the sand, uh, just a sanding sponge but, and then get that rounded out but uh, I'm gonna do something a little different with the handle let me show you what I'm gonna do okay so the handle and all that's up to you on how you're gonna do it because I'm doing something a little different I'm not worried about the handle now but for aesthetics later I want this all to be black up top just so that these corners and all and the ends don't look funny so I'm just spray painting it. I'm not really worried about getting the handle. I just need a good coat all the way up there. And because most of this is gonna be covered, I don't really have to worry about dripping or anything like that. So that should be good enough. Now I just need to let this dry. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to nick this off here, just to give myself a little bit of a head start, then I'm going to sand it. Now because of the way I'm doing it, I don't actually have to have it perfect, but I'll get it down pretty close. Okay, that's uh, fairly smooth. It's a little bit flat on the end, but I'm not too worried about that. So uh, go to the next part. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do now is basically just uh, coat this in the flex seal. You've seen me use a few saw some other projects, but uh, I'm going to do it a little different here. That's way more than I need. <laughs> so I'm just going to brush it off and smooth it out. Okay guys, so now what I'm doing is applying the leather. I already did two ends and you can kind of see what I do. I, I line up one end flush, glue up those, and then I'll use it as a guide. And I'm doing, because this is buffalo and it's really, really slick, it's high-end high leather, very thick leather, and what would normally be the rough side, so to speak, is actually very smooth and perfect. 
so I want it to be up. Um, so basically I'll go around gluing up the edges but to make sure this is going to be down and flat and level basically I'm just going along the edge with a razor and just shaving it perfectly smooth and flush against this side and then I'll cut these the extra off that side and this one and do the next glue up and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute Okay guys, well, as you can see, I basically just, I trim it to the width, and this will come off, it'll dry clear, but I'm going to, I'll trim that off later, and see how it does, and I just have to let it dry. Okay guys, well, it's pretty much done, uh, I'm letting it dry a little more, I'm going to let it dry overnight before I put the compound on. Uh, you can put whatever compounds you wanted, whether you wanted black, red, green, white, whatever. Uh, the one I'm doing is I'm going to do black on one, then I'm going to do green, then white, and then actually it's uh, the, I'm going to probably do the, uh, the two carat micron uh, spray. But uh, basically it'll look like there's nothing on it, but that's what I'm going to do on mine. Uh, to give you some close ups, but, oh, and I'll go ahead and tell you, on the sides here, I cut the glue out best I could. But of course, cutting it out, I cut into the wood just a little bit. So when I did that, it exposed a little bit of white. It's just uh, the, the wood, you know, the lighter color. So to get rid of that, I just took a Sharpie and ran it along the edge there, just to make it look a little better. Anyway, to give you an idea where I glued it up and how I did, I'll see if I can zoom in here. Um, and you can see the rubberized handle cuts off right before it goes to the block. I put the uh, leather right where the curve ends and the pattern that, the, that it was glued up on, see if I can get this where you can see it, see it has kind of v-shapes there in the corners, but that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing you may be interested in is how much does this thing weigh? So, let me grab my kitchen scale here. It's actually got a pretty nice weight to it. Uh, 1.2 pounds. So, it's actually pretty sturdy. And basically, once everything is done, that's the way it'll work, and it, it's really easy to hold with the extra weight and everything. So, I'll be putting the uh, compound and all on there tomorrow, but that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you like it. I would love to see some pictures if the rest of you do them. See if you have uh, some other ideas for the handles or how to actually make your straw. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll be back with another video real soon.